celebrating 90 years of service to youth in the Tampa Bay community. I'm so happy to welcome the Boys and Girls Club to the show this morning. Chris Letzos is the president and CEO. Good morning. Good morning. Also want to say he's also a previous member I of am. the club as well. I am. As was I. Yeah, how cool is that? Yeah, so I know firsthand what a great organization uh, you guys are. But talk about kind of the Boys and Girls Club, uh, specifically in the Tampa area. Absolutely. And uh, again, congratulations yeah. on 90 years the oldest youth serving agency right we are we are we are the we're oldest boys and girls club in the state of Florida as well um, wow. started with a little club out in West Tampa and now uh, we're at 20 locations serving over 15,000 youth annually uh, and it's really exciting to be able to celebrate 90 years as, as an alum and, and specifically here in Tampa with all of our great partners why is uh, the boys and Cl girls club obviously a wonderful organization nationwide but why has it been so beneficial here in the Bay Area do you think I think we've been really focused on impact it's more than just a place for kids to hang out although you know, yeah, a lot of kids right. do enjoy that we, we make a, a solemn promise to our kids and their parents that if they stay out of trouble and believe in us and join our gang we're gonna get them to college or career and we've been able to do that for 90 years and and now we're gonna hope to continue to do that for another 90 well and this is really interesting we were talking to middle school age is really kind of your focus and your priority why middle school why is that age so important well that's where we lose kids you know nationally especially with boys and girls clubs we see our peak around 10 or 12 and then when they become teens they find something else to do that's when they get into trouble that's when they start having this. problems yeah. so we really focused on the middle school transition transition by going on campus before, during, and after mm -hmm. school, making our clubs more team focused. Uh, a couple of years ago. Somewhere where they want to be, you say? Somewhere think? where they yeah. absolutely want to be, where they can see the prize, where they can mm -hmm. have that sense of belonging. And we've been able to really transition that and translate that mm -hmm. to success. Of the 15,000 kids we serve, 40% are teenagers. Uh, so that change in, in our culture of really focusing on teens has made all the difference here in Tampa. And you were saying that's kind of different between 40% of, of the teens, uh, different from the other organizations in, uh, nationwide. Absolutely. Actually, this year is the year of the teen nationally to refocus our efforts mm -hmm. on teens, and, and we lead the charge here in Tampa. You know, if we had more space and more yeah. funding, we could probably serve 60% teens because uh, they, they love coming to us and they love the opportunities that, that yeah. we provide. Let's talk about your partnership with the local local uh, police departments and the sheriff departments, I would imagine they love you equally as much as you love them. Absolutely. Talk about why that partnership is so important, I think particularly in this day and age. Yeah, you know, our kids often feel disconnected and especially with what's going on uh, all over the country with law enforcement, we're blessed to have strong support mm -hmm. from Pasco County and Hillsborough County, City of Tampa and the City of Temple Terrace and Plant City, mm -hmm. where law enforcement are at our sites. And they're not just there as law enforcement. They're, they're there as big brothers and buddies. And uh, we have one uh, deputy out in Dover. If he's not at the site, we serve 10 to 15 kids fewer. Uh, because, well, he's not there, and, and they're there, and they trust him, and they run to him for support. Matter of fact, um, you know, I like to visit our clubs mm -hmm. often, and a young man said, for years, uh, he would run away from the cops. Yeah. The cops were, were the bad guys. And after these joint programs and, and club sites, he runs to law enforcement for help and support, and Aww. we're so proud of that. Yeah, you want more of that. Absolutely. Well, hey, you guys are celebrating the 30, 35th anniversary of the steak dinner, which I love that you guys do this. Kind of explain how this works, and then we're going to tell people how they can get involved. Yeah, the events started in Memphis about 50 years ago and here we are celebrating 35 years in Tampa and when I was a club kid uh, the adults got burgers and the kids got steaks <laughs> and you know Outback has been a great sponsor yeah. and has provided steaks to all and this year we're really thankful to bring back burgers and steaks and we're honoring Jennifer uh, Steinbrenner Swindle mm -hmm. with the New York Yankees yeah. she's an absolute champion for our kids That's and um, awesome. we're excited to be celebrating our 35th anniversary well if people want to get involved um, what's the best thing that you would have you know have somebody do who wants to help our youth certainly in the Bay Area. Well, check out our, our website at bgctampa.org or give us a call or stop in. Uh, we have 20 locations in Hillsborough and Pasco mm -hmm. County. We serve close to 3,000 kids a day and 15,000 youth annually. If someone really wants to put yeah. in some work, we'll find something for them to do. Well, congratulations again on 90 years. Keep us posted. Let us know about future events and uh, we're excited. To, we want to be one of your partners too. So thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you.